Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to download uh, Plutonium. Uh, first I'm going to tell you what Plutonium is, and then I'll show you how to download it. Uh, this is a very straightforward guide. Plutonium, if you don't know, is a Black Ops 2 and MW3 modification project. And for this video, we're only going to be downloading Black Ops 2. I'll leave this uh, in the link of the video. This is Plutonium. Uh, you know, you got cool things. But we're going to go to BO2 download. Now, this is what you're going to need. Uh, I'm going to link you this. I'm going to link you this um, URL. But essentially, what you're going to do is you're just going to go to. You open up these folders. Now, it should be right over here. And you're, I already have it installed as you can see, but you should have a games folder over here. It should be on your local disk. If you don't, you can create one very easily. You, you just create one. Now, next thing you're going to have to do is download Quit Born, uh, Quit, uh, Qubit Torrent. The reason why you're going to download it, uh, and you're you're going to click whatever OS you're using, which is going to be, for me it's Windows, but I already have it downloaded. Now, uh, for the purpose of this guide, I'm just going to... Now, once you have downloaded CubaTorrent, um, you'll then have to download a torrent file. It's going to be this. It's going to be this file right here. It's in step 3, and once you have downloaded it, uh, and you put it into here, you should um, look at the screenshot down below or no well uh, right here it's going to say yeah it should say 100% and seeding when it's completely finished it should be 13.7 uh, gigabytes in total space I believe now once you've done w no, now once you're done with that you're just going to have to download uh, plutonium.exe this will be the launcher now you may have something like this where you're going to you know, you're gonna have your uh, Windows de Windows Defender file or Windows def Antivirus Defender will try to block it, but you're gonna have to do it right anyway. Now it's gonna get more files. It's gonna be installing the client files. Now another thing that you're gonna have to do before uh, before you actually play is you're gonna have to log in. Uh, you could just create an account. Very simple. And this is the plutonium.exe. Now. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find your Pluto T6 folder, and you and you should put the plutonium.exe into the folder. Now, if you launch it, um, it's gonna do everything like that, but it won't immediately come up with this. It's gonna have to download client files. Now, if you go to BO2 and uh, you know, zombies, if it doesn't say play yet, it's probably gonna say setup. Then, if it does that, you're probably going to have to press the game settings and then find the, the directory that you put your game in. And that was a very straightforward guide on how to download Plutonium. Now I'm going to be teaching you how to actually add friends, so if you have UPnP enabled, you can join each other. I will probably make a separate guide on how to join each other without UPnP. So, uh, just the way you're going to do this is very simple. So go to Users. I'm just gonna use a friend as an example, and we're just gonna write his name. Now, the now your friend is gonna have to um actually now you're gonna see this heart icon, it's just like this. Now you have to click it. Now it's gonna say you're not following. You're you you are now following Wolf or whoever your friend name is. They're gonna also have to type in your profile name and add you as such. And that is how you, you're just gonna have to click this button and, you're, and then when you launch Plutonium by going on to here all the way down to T6 full game Plutonium that's how you're gonna do it. Now, another easy way to launch Plutonium that I found is opening up Steam. So, right now, Steam is just opening. Um, 
if you go over here, as you can see, I also have plutonium as a shortcut. Now, in order to do this, you can also take screenshots on Steam, which is I find very cool. Now, the way you can actually do it is by going to um, now because I'm using Metro, it's going to be a bit different than yours probably. But you should find a button that says "Add Non Steam Games to My Library." And now, in order to actually add it, you're gonna have to look for your. You're gonna have to look for, you know, just press browse, and then Pluto T64, and then you you can just do this. But I already have it, so cool. And that's how you download. Thanks for watching the video.